Hi, Ben Cummins here. Today we're just looking at driver setup, nice and easy. And what's the difference between iron and a driver? Effectively, the iron's down on the floor, hit down it, compress it. Driver, in a you know, in a in a real world, you're actually trying to go slightly up, so they are two different swings. You can make a similar goal swing, you can have you know different driver and iron swing. But one really good simple thing you can do is just to make sure you've got the angles that set up to give yourself a running start of being able to hit a good shot. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a slight hip tilt, slight shoulder tilt, which then allows us to turn behind it and actually come through on the way up. A really, really simple kind of drill you could work on if you look at some of the older generation players, but like Jack Nicholas, is he watched Jack play and he actually lifted his left heel up in the air. What does this do? Keeps the left hip up in the air. And then from there, it's really easy to swing down and through and hit that lovely kind of draw shot, or in Jack's case, a little fade. But go and give it a whirl. So, big important one here, driver, slight tilt backwards to the right if you're a right-handed golfer, obviously to the left if you're a left-handed golfer, and then the key is to not let the left hip drop. If the left hip drops, and you stay with it, you'll go down, hit the ball at the top. If you can get your left hip to stay up, make a good swing on the way through, you're gonna get a really good chance of having some square contact and maximizing your distance. So go and try that drill, you know, it's a great one. You've seen Jack do it, pretty successful guy. Give it a whirl, lift the left heel, if you're someone who hits down on driver, and see what it does. As always, any questions, just ask, and look forward to sharing stuff with you again soon.